About 25% of American houses have some sort of septic system, and that's what we have up at Essex. Now, a septic system has a septic tank where solids and liquid enter, and the liquid leaves the tank and goes into these perforated pipes that sit below what's called a leaching field. Now, this has been the method for many, many years, but recently there is a lot more alternative septic systems on the market, and if you're a manufacturer, you better start with George Hoyfelder. Hi, George. Hey, Richard. How you doing? Good to be here. Welcome to the test center. We affectionately call it Poop Central. Poop Central? That <laughs> well, that's cool. I'm glad I'm here. Well, how many different manufacturers you got under test here? Oh, about 15 to 20, depending on what the manufacturers are doing. And it all starts right here. Grade A number one poop comes in from <laughs> Coast Guard Housing, from the school, from a jail, we need that. So buy local. Buy local, right. <laughs> you know, we don't always just deal with alternative septic systems here. This project is trying to figure out how to bring back a traditional leach field that's failed, short of digging the whole thing up. Oh, really? So how do you do that? Well, all septic systems work by bacteria, and all bacteria need oxygen. So if you can get oxygen to the system like this system is doing here, you break the waste down before it gets out to the leach field. So pumping oxygen in, pumping oxygen in will actually bring back a failed leach field? That's right. And some systems like that one over there actually pumps the air out into the leach field itself. How long has this been under test? This has been about six months, and it's really starting to look promising. It would be helpful for those who who really need to replace the system but can't afford to for, dig it up. For sure. So what are some of the alternative systems, George? Well, the standard septic system hasn't changed much over the years. It used to be a hole in the ground, a cesspit. Then after World War II, when housing was being built like crazy, they put septic tanks yep. in a leach yep. field, much like you described before. Yep. And most of those worked by gravity. But then you had conditions of poor soil or, you know, it's cold temperatures. So you really needed to reduce the size of the leach field. And that's what this does here. This is a recirculating sand filter. This sand filter takes septic tank effluent, takes it, pumps it up over a filter, which is a stone filter or a sand filter, recirculates it an average of five times before it is allowed to discharge the leach field. So most of the work of breaking down the waste occurs right in here. So what size house can this handle? This can handle a three to four bedroom house. Really? So what's up with the greenhouse? Well, we put it there to keep the bugs warm during the winter, but you could really just cover the whole thing over with a big pile of mulch. So the bugs like to be warm? Yep, they like warm, but remember, they like air too. And there they get it by filtering over the media, the air passively yep. goes into it. In these units, these are called aerobic treatment units. Okay. Here, air is aggressively applied to the poop in the liquid itself. And there's some media in there where bacteria can grow. Yeah. Are these popular? These are very popular in tight soils down south, Georgia clays. So as we get toward the ultimate in treatment, you move towards something called a membrane bioreactor. Membrane bioreactor, sounds daunting. Well, it's pretty simple. It's basically a filter which bacteria grow on and water passes through it. And that is so small that even the bacteria can't get through to the other side. So with a little further disinfection, you could use that for toilet wash or for washing clothes or sometimes even drinking. Wow, well, it's a technology I've been following on. I hope to use it actually on Essex, but the system I saw doesn't go below the ground. It actually is in a tank above the ground. That's right, it doesn't have to be below the ground. The membrane station can be above and you know, it produces the same quality water as the one beneath the ground. And you tested it? Yes, we did. We give it the thumbs up. Well, great. Well, thank you for the tour of Poop Central. You are officially the number one expert in the number two business. Uh, thanks a lot. <laughs>